After the shocking betrayal, what will The Rock have to say after suffering a ruthless assault by Roman Reigns and the Bloodline? Roman Reigns. Cuz look at you. You are the man, the champ. I'm proud of what you've achieved. Would you say you're the head of the table? Nah, you're just a boy at a table of men who laid down the foundation. And if it wasn't for the ones that came before you, High Chief Peter Maivia, Rikishi, the Wild Samoans, Rocky Johnson, Umaga, and The Rock, you would have never even stepped foot in a ring. There is no way, and The Rock means no way, that you are the head of the table. Maybe the kiddie table where you and the Usos are eating Happy Meals and playing hide the sausage with creepy Uncle Paul. You need to respect the ones who laid the foundation for you to be where you are today. And after the beating you three punks delivered on The Rock, I'm gonna kick all three of your candy asses and beat some respect into you if that's what it's gonna take. You wanna see who the head of the table is? The Rock will show you that when it comes to our family table, all you are, and all you ever will be, is The Rock's bitch. Look who showed up. Mr. Hollywood. Dwayne Johnson has graced us with his presence, y'all. Let me tell you something about Dwayne. He says he is the head of the table. But this man has been too busy for his own family. Too busy to step in the ring. It's like you're not even a part of the family, cuz. Because The Rock went from people's champ to Hollywood's number one blockbuster box office attraction. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you have no acting talent. All you have to do is shoot the people a smile and be the hero in every movie you're in. Cause you're the hero in real life, right? But where were you when the family needed you? Why was I the one to carry the entire family on my back, grinding every day, smashing people to help the family while you've been shilling tequila, energy drinks, and clothing lines too busy to give us all a call? Too busy to check in and say, hey, how you doing? How's everyone going? Your seat's been cold for years. Yet you show up out of the blue and try to steal my spotlight. My moment. Because you're jealous, Rob. You ran off to Hollywood because you couldn't hack it in the ring anymore. You can't keep up. You can play the tough guy in the movies all you want, but you're not that guy anymore, are you? But you tune in and you watch your tribal chief. And you wish you could do what I do, but you can't. I've eclipsed your entire career. This is greatness on a different level. So why are you here, Rob? I beat your ass, so what? You got your movies, you got your businesses, but no, you just had to come and get the rub from the tribal chief, didn't you? Roman, Roman, you got it all wrong. You see, The Rock is out here doing the work too. I had my days in the ring long ago. The Rock's got nothing left to prove. I do what I do for the family. I wish I could be at every family dinner, but I can't. But I do care about the family. I love the family, and I love you too. But I say this with all the love in The Rock's heart. Someone needs to bitch slap your ass and send you back to reality because you've turned into a smug, cocky, Rudy Poo candy ass. You say The Rock can't hack it anymore? At The Rock's core, he is six foot five, 260 pounds of man that at the drop of a dime will knock your fake horse teeth so far down your throat that you're gonna have to stick a toothbrush up your ass to brush it. There he goes again, y'all. Mr. Holly, <laughs> he's great. He can take anything and spin it so that he makes himself look good. That's what he does. Roman, listen. You've insulted The Rock. You've insulted our family. You've insulted our bloodline. You are not ready 
for the responsibility and what it means to be the head of the table. Because you are selfish. Yeah, you only care about yourself, and The Rock just cannot stand idly by while you destroy our family legacy. So how about this? How about you let The Rock teach you a lesson in respect? Let The Rock humble you. How about the most electrifying man in all of entertainment kicks your ass all over SoFi Stadium? How about Roman Reigns goes one-on-one -on -one with the Great One at WrestleMania? You want me a WrestleMania? Fine. You're right. If you beat me, I'll acknowledge you as the head of the table. The best of the family. But that ain't gonna happen, cuz, because I'm gonna smash you. Make you acknowledge me as your travel chief. Your head of the table and the head of the family. The greatest of all time. And then the whole world will acknowledge me. The biggest blockbuster of the year just got even bigger. The Rock versus Roman Reigns for the WSC Hardcore Championship. Oh my god. WrestleMania will see the WSC Hardcore Championship defended twice in one night. Will it be Roman? Will it be The Rock? The battle for the head of the table. The battle of generations. Who will take the championship into the main event? Into the deadliest, most dangerous match in wrestling history. The deadly game.